Hey, what's up guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the WeBoost Home Multi-Room Cell Signal Booster. In the box, you'll receive the inside antenna with wall mounting plate, the booster unit with wall mounting stickers, AC adapter and plug, setup instruction manual, the outdoor antenna, two sets of 15-foot coax cables, one 30-foot coax cable, a bag of cable clips, a flat window entry coax cable, and metal outdoor mounting hardware. On the underside of the box lid is a quick overview of the setup, which recommends one to two people and one to two hours for installation. This is the inside antenna. It has a nice fabric covered surface to blend in with furnishings and measures nine inches by seven inches by two and a half inches thick. The coax cable on the end extends about five and a half feet. The adhesive strips can be attached to the back of the plastic mounting bracket, or you can use screws to attach it to drywall. Then the antenna simply slides onto the bracket. Alternatively, you can use the small fold-out stand on the back and move the cable off to the side and simply place the antenna on any flat surface. This is the outside antenna. It measures 11 inches by 9 inches and two and a half inches thick. It has a nine inch coax cable on it. The metal mounting bracket attaches to the back with the included bag of hardware. And then to the grip mount. The bracket is adjustable to help you point the antenna in the direction of a specific cell tower. This is the signal booster. It has a metal casing and is hefty at around two pounds. It measures six inches by five and a half inches and one and a half inches thick. On the bottom, you'll find the same plastic wall mounting plate that also comes with two adhesive pads. There are also four rubber feet on the bottom so you can place it on any flat surface. At the back are two coaxial inputs clearly marked for the inside and outside antennas. On the opposite side is the power port. And on the face of it is the status LED bar. For setup, you'll first need to determine where the weakest signal in your house is. To do this, you can use an app on your smartphone or simply view the signal strength in numbers in your cell phone's settings. Here you can see the signal inside my home is generally around negative 115 to negative 107 dBm. That's pretty low, considering negative 120 is basically an unusable signal, while numbers closer to zero are better signals. That explains why I'm always having dropped calls and sometimes call audio is garbled. You'll also need to find where the strongest signal outside of your house is. You'll want to install the outside antenna on that side. The inside antenna will likely be installed in the room where you get the weakest signal. Then all you have to do is decide where you want to install the signal booster. It should be located where you can access it, but it also needs to have good ventilation and be near a power outlet. Now you need to determine where the nearest cell tower to your location is, because you'll want to point the outside antenna in that direction. We're going to use the mobile app OpenSignal to help us out. All you need to do is download and install the app to your smartphone, launch the app, and select the locator icon on the bottom right. The arrow will point you in the right direction. So on my phone, the Verizon tower is in this direction. When installing the outside antenna, you want to install it as high as possible. Oftentimes, this means on the roof, but if that's just not possible, you can install it in an attic or inside wall. I'm going to install mine in the attic pointing out this window, since it happens to be in the right direction of the closest cell tower. I'm pointing it towards a Verizon tower, though the booster is capable of amplifying signals from most GSM or CDMA 4G LTE networks, and works with most major carriers. It also amplifies 3G signal. If your outside antenna is mounted on the outside of your house, you can use the window entry jumper cable to bridge the connection between the cable outside of the home to another section of cable inside of your home. That way you won't have to drill any holes into your walls. Now we can install the inside antenna. I'm going to simply place the antenna on this desk. 
and allow the signal to broadcast into the room. Attach the cable onto the antenna and then run the cable to the booster. The indoor antenna needs to be at least two feet away from the booster, but with 30 feet of cable, you should have plenty of length to separate them. The recommendation for orienting your outside and inside antenna is to have them facing opposite directions with at least 20 feet of vertical separation or 50 feet of horizontal separation. All that's left to do is install the cables to the booster. Then connect the power cable and plug it in. You'll notice on the power connector two small notches on the barrel. These line up with two cutouts in the power port in order to lock the connection. Just make sure the word lock is on top of the connector. Press it in fully into the port and make a quarter turn clockwise for a snug and secure connection. To remove it, twist counterclockwise while pulling on the connector. After powering on the booster, wait for the LED light to turn a solid green. If the light is a different color, or it is flashing, check the user manual for troubleshooting tips. Now, when I check the signal strength, it's much better and is generally in the range of negative 90 to negative 65 dBm when in the same room as the inside antenna. Keep in mind, negative 40 dBm is pretty much perfect signal. As I move farther away from the antenna, the signal drops off, but the improvement extends into several rooms in the direction the antenna is facing. Not only has call quality and stability improved, since the booster captures 4G LTE signal, mobile data speeds are also faster. Note though that this is only true in range of the booster, and the signal improvement did not really extend into other floors of the house. Overall, I found the signal booster to be pretty easy to install, though it is somewhat involved. Also, every time you adjust the outside antenna, you'll need to reset the booster unit, but doing so upfront will guarantee that you have the best signal possible. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.